Chapter 13 Valentine's Day is coming soon, Lily. It would be such a blessing to receive a set of Poija Elegance's crown line cosmetics. Phoebe said to Lily. You keep on dreaming, Lily said with a smile. At present, Poija Elegance's crown line had an exceptionally high price and was limited to only 520 sets, which were probably all sold out. Those who could buy them were big families who had ample connections. Smaller families like the Lindens had zero chance of obtaining them. All right, enough, Lily giggled. Let's go and buy a couple of clothes. Granny's birthday is coming soon. We have to dress nicely for the celebration. Phoebe nodded, then walked into a store arm in arm with Lily. The next day at Platinum Corporation. Daryl sat in the general manager's office and got up from the sofa. It was two in the morning by the time they finished their drinking session the night before. He could not be bothered to go home, so he decided to just sleep at the company. His cell phone vibrated, and he swiped open to see a message from his mother-in-law, Samantha. So, now you have learned not to come back home, haven't you? If you don't want to stay at home, then don't ever come back again. Less than five minutes after the text message was received, he received another from Lily. Granny's birthday is the day after tomorrow. Buy a present for her and don't embarrass me too much. Darrow placed his phone away after reading the two messages, and he soon heard a knock on his door. A beautiful woman dressed in business attire walked in. It was his secretary, Pearl Han. President Darby, we've just signed the partnership contract with the Linden clan, and they've already sent someone here, Pearl said. They said that they'd like to take over Giselle's image consultancy. William is already waiting outside. Tell him to scram, Daryl waved his hand and said. Make it clear to the Linden family that the contract is cancelled. Yes, Pearl bowed and walked out of the room. William was waiting anxiously outside the door. Lily was the one who sealed the deal, but Grandmother Linden had passed Lily's efforts to him and even sent him to discuss with Platinum Corporation. Ha ha ha! Rumor had it the Platinum Corporation's newly signed Giselle was beautiful and had a stunningly sexy body. If Platinum Corporation agreed to let the Lindens style Giselle's image, they would certainly make a fortune. Success would mean he would get all the credit. Mr. Linden, Pearl walked over in her high heels. William looked at her from head to toe. It was not surprising the Platinum Corporation was a premier company for A-list celebrities. Even the president's secretary was very pretty. Miss Han, William greeted as he walked over with a smile. What did the president say? When can we start handling Giselle's affairs? Apologies, Mr. Linden, Pearl flashed a smile. Our president told you to scram. The contract that was signed earlier has also been cancelled. What? William bellowed in shock. He was not in a position to show his displeasure, regardless of how angry he was. He could not afford to provoke Platinum Corporation. His lips curled up into a modest smile, though it looked uglier than if he were to cry. Why? Pearl explained gently. Our president stated that it was Lily who came to handle the negotiations. Platinum Corporation's decision to cooperate with your company is solely out of respect for Lily. She has to be the one to show up and discuss any projects in the future. No one else will be entertained. As soon as she finished speaking, several security guards immediately escorted William away. At the Linden Family Villa the old lady sat in the chair, sipped a big mouthful of tea, and massaged her chest continuously. You, what did you say? The old lady asked as she stared at William. Granny, Platinum Corporation stated that they wouldn't cooperate with us anymore. William explained with teary eyes and a runny nose. They told me to scram. Granny, why is Platinum Corporation being so unreasonable? One of the Linden family's damseled voiced her unhappiness. That's right, Granny. Platinum Corporation has agreed to cooperate with us. The contract has been signed, and all of a sudden they want to terminate it now? Isn't that a breach of contract? We can sue them. 
Yes, Grandma. The contract clearly says that whoever breaches the terms will have to compensate 20 million in damages. Let's sue them. Several of the family's younger generation spoke in succession as they fumed in anger. The old lady was expressionless. Their twittering annoyed her, and she slammed the table heavily. Shut up, all of you! Everyone kept quiet at once. They took a step back after seeing the old lady's anger. You're all a bunch of short-sighted younglings, the old woman frowned and said. Would you dare to sue Platinum Corporation, even if they did violate the contract? Don't you know that the Darby clan owns Platinum Corporation? They're the preeminent family in Jiangnan. They can smother all of us with a pinch of the finger. It wouldn't be a problem for them to compensate 20 million, but are you brave enough to demand it? Everyone was dumbstruck and began looking at each other. Her statement was irrefutable. Indeed, 20 million were peanuts to the Platinum Corporation, but if the Lindens dared to sue them, they would be burning bridges with the Platinum Corporation. Life would only be difficult from then on. William, what else did Platinum Corporation say? The old lady asked. They can't possibly terminate the contract without any reason. Did you offend them? Granny, I swear to God, I didn't offend them. William blurted out hastily. Granny, Platinum Corporation said that the earlier contract discussions were done with Lily. They said they only cooperated with us out of courtesy for Lily. All future negotiations must involve her, and they won't accept anyone else. This... The dozen or so people present were the backbone of the Linden clan. At that moment, they all exchanged glances and saw each other's shocked reactions. The Platinum Corporation cooperated with the Linden family for the sake of Lily alone? How could it have been Lily? She was nothing more than one of the Linden family's juniors, and the company Lily ran was the least profitable of all the companies in the clan. Was Lily so promising that the Platinum Corporation had eyes only for her? Donghai Airport Lily and Samantha got out of the car and glanced at their watches. Dad will be getting off the plane soon, right, Mom? Lily asked. Six months ago, Lily's father, Wentworth Linden, went abroad to start a business. Rumor had it that he did quite well during that period and often sent Samantha short video recordings of his life abroad, driving luxury cars and visiting high-end office buildings. Since it was Grandma Linden's birthday, Wentworth said that he would return home and give her a surprise. It won't take more than ten minutes for him to get off the plane, Samantha said as the two of them walked into the airport. The two women always turned heads wherever they went. It could not be denied that Samantha and Lily's mother-daughter combination was extremely eye-catching. Ding, ding. Lily received a text message. She opened it and saw that it was from Daryl, and it contained only short sentences. Honey, you must reject Grandma's offer if she calls you later and asks you to negotiate with Platinum Corporation. What was he up to? Lily's slender body shuddered. She had repeatedly warned him not to call her that, but he seemed to lack the ability of simple comprehension. Moreover, Grandmother Linden had already handed over the responsibility of negotiation with Platinum Corporation to William. Why would she ask Lily to handle it again? Grandmother Linden's favoritism toward William was an open secret. Lily might have been the one who secured cooperation with Platinum Corporation, but she had been robbed of her efforts by William. Did that loser text you? Samantha looked over and asked coldly. Hmm. Lily nodded. She knew better than anyone who that loser referred to. Let me be very clear to you. At that moment, Samantha stopped in her tracks, looked at Lily, and said, your dad is home today, and once your grandma's birthday celebration ends, your dad and I will bring you to get the divorce done. You must divorce him. Mom, and Daryl, he... Lily wanted to say something nice about him, but after thinking for a while, she realized how limited her vocabulary was when it came to praising Daryl. 
Lily was unsure of her feelings toward Daryl. All she knew was that Daryl had been with her for three years, worked hard, and endured every single complaint. He was merely unambitious in his quest to improve himself, and was quite a good person aside from that. Enough! Stop talking right now! Samantha waved her hand and said, If this loser doesn't leave, I will! Chapter 14 Think carefully, Lily. Think about how much scorn and ridicule you had to face since marrying Daryl, Samantha said coldly. We've provided him food and clothes during the three years of your marriage to him. At least he had the decency to repay the favor by lending us money to help with the company's five million deficit. We're even now, and all I want is for you to leave that loser. Mom, Lily bit her lip. Also, Ashton called me and said that he'd attend your grandmother's birthday, Samantha continued. He said he prepared an amazing gift that your grandma will love. You can and should be with him if grandma takes a liking to him. As she was talking, she saw a man coming over from some distance away. Dressed in a suit and leather shoes, he held a suitcase in his hand. The person was Wentworth, Lily's father. Lily and Samantha went over to welcome him. The family of three then chatted and laughed all the way out of the airport. Back home, Samantha cooked a sumptuous meal. Cooking was usually Daryl's duty, and she had not cooked in a long time, so it was unsurprising that she could maintain her appearance so well at her age. At the dinner table, Samantha asked Wentworth how life was abroad. Wentworth remarked that his life was uninteresting, other than three meals a day in high-class hotels and daily business discussions with the richest men in the region. He hyped up his stories, and as he spoke, he took out a check and scribbled on it before handing it to Samantha. Fifty million! Samantha grinned from ear to ear when she saw the check. Ha ha ha! Our days of suffering have finally come to an end! He took out a fifty million check like it was nothing! I heard a few days ago that your company was facing some problems, Lilybud. Something about a shortage of five million? Wentworth looked at Lily and said, I was worried about you when your mother called the other day, but at that time my funds were still strapped in the stock market. There was no way I could have helped you, but it's all good now, though. I've cashed the money out. Wentworth scribbled on another check while talking. <laughs> Here's another check for fifty million. Wentworth chuckled and said, By the way, the check I've given you can't be cashed right away. You can only do so in a week, as the check will only take effect after I leave the country. Was there such a requirement? Samantha bought his statements, despite having some doubts, and nodded repeatedly with a smile. Finally, they could rise to their feet again after enduring for so long. They were eager to know whether anyone would dare to look down on them again during Grandmother Linden's birthday. Ding, ding. The family was chatting away happily when Lily's phone suddenly rang. After glancing at the caller ID, the entire family looked at each other. A call from Grandmother Linden? What's the matter? Samantha asked at once. The old lady was personally in charge of all the Linden clan's affairs and was therefore swamped in work every single day. It was usually the Linden family's elders who were in constant contact with Grandmother Linden. She never phoned her juniors in the past, especially when it came to Lily, as the latter had the lowest status among the Linden family's juniors. Beats me. Lily replied as she answered the call and switched on the loudspeaker mode. Lily, bud? The old lady's voice came from the other side of the phone. Despite her reluctance to initiate a call with someone younger than her, she was completely bereft of all options. Platinum Corporation made it clear that any future business discussions must only involve Lily and Lily alone. It was futile for others to handle the negotiations. Lily, bud? Granny wants to ask you a favor, the old lady continued. The three of them were stunned after hearing that sentence. Grandmother Linden had been in charge of everything for so many years. When did she ever ask anyone for favors? Samantha hurriedly said, Mom, what's going on? Please just tell us what you need. 
I want to ask Lilybud. The old lady was silent for a moment, but eventually continued. I want to ask her for her favor to negotiate with Platinum Corporation to take over Giselle's image consultation. Samantha was puzzled. The old lady had already handed the responsibility to William. Lily was undoubtedly the one who negotiated the deal, but William was allowed to take the credit. Why then would the old lady hand the responsibility back to Lily again? Although Samantha's heart lamented the unfairness, she still smiled. Don't worry, Mom. I'll tell Lilybud to go there later in the afternoon. After all, the grandmother was the head of the family. Samantha was flattered that the old woman would call them and beg them with that pleading tone. There was no reason to refuse. Despite that, a shiver came over Lily's body. Daryl had just sent a text message to her, telling her to refuse if the old lady came calling. How could Daryl know that Grandma would call her? Was he a fortune teller? Lily bit her lip tightly. Unaware of her conscious mind's inner workings, she picked up the phone and said, I'm sorry, Granny, but I refuse. Since you've already given the task to William, he should be the one to negotiate. You? The old lady was thoroughly incensed. You've become stubborn now, haven't you, Lilybud? Do you believe that the Lindens will fail in securing the partnership with the Platinum Corporation without you? How mighty arrogant of you! Lily had already ended the call before the old lady could finish talking. Back at the dinner table, Samantha and Wentworth looked at each other, followed by the former lashing out. Lilybud, what are you doing? Samantha slammed the table angrily. How are we going to live out our days in the Linden clan after offending the old lady? Grandma is partial toward William, but you can't deny that William is competent at what he does. Aren't you going to show her any respect now that she set aside her arrogance by phoning you and asking you to negotiate? Lily bit her lip tightly because Daryl had sent her a text message in advance. Her thought process was a mystery to her, and she wondered why, for that brief moment, that she believed Daryl's words and rejected the old lady. Listening to Samantha's complaints, Lily silently took out her cell phone and absentmindedly sent a text to Daryl. I've rejected the old lady. What should I do next? Everyone called Daryl a loser, and it angered Lily because she felt that he was not doing anything to try and improve himself. Be that as it may, his recent goings-on was something of a curiosity, since it seemed as though Daryl constantly came to her aid at critical moments. Her subconscious mind had gone so far as to begin heeding Daryl's words. The phone rang not long later, and Daryl replied with a couple of short sentences. The old lady will continue begging, and you'll continue to refuse. Platinum Corporation won't acknowledge anyone else except you. Trust me. Lily felt an inexplicable sense of security after reading his last two words. All of a sudden, Samantha then snatched her phone away. Perfect! You rejected the old lady! It was Daryl who told you to do so, right? Samantha's chest trembled as she pointed to Lily and lambasted. Are you crazy? Do you really believe in Daryl's words? I'm telling you, you'd better divorce him after Grandma's birthday! Mom, Daryl guessed that Granny would call me, Lily protested. Samantha became even angrier and slapped the table heavily. Mark my words, Daryl is a good-for-nothing. Look at everyone else. Do any other people have a son-in-law like him? Is there any family that doesn't have a son-in-law worth tens of millions? She became increasingly agitated when she spoke, and her anger flared up at the mere mention of Daryl. In the afternoon, Grandmother Linden set Stefan Linden to handle the negotiations. Stefan was one of the standout individuals among the Linden family's younger generation, and his status was second only to William. In the end, though, he was chased out of Platinum Corporation by the security guards before even getting a chance to talk. The old woman began panicking when Stefan returned. What was going on? Was Lily the only person that Platinum Corporation would accept? Grandmother Linden sat on the chair and smoked her cigarettes one after another. I have a plan, Granny, 
It was then that William walked over and said, Granny, my guess is Lily only managed to secure the contract because of her good looks, William postulated. From that, we can see that the Platinum Corporation's president is simply a womanizer. Lily isn't the only beautiful girl in our family. Elsa is also very beautiful, so why not let her give it a shot? Indeed, two women in the Linden family were widely recognized for their beauty. One was Lily, and the other was none other than Elsa. Based on their age, Lily even had to address Elsa as her elder sister. Everyone agreed with that suggestion. William's remarks made sense, and they were certain that Platinum Corporation's president only fancied Lily's good looks. Early the next morning, Elsa went to Platinum Corporation alone. Elsa was undeniably stunning. She was the creme de la creme in both body figure and looks.